hello viewers this is mickey keys for you i'm so happy my lovely viewers and cherished subscribers god bless you all today i'm going to do another ghanaian african rhythm a tutorial on a ghanaian african rhythm which is known as belembe done by Bessa simons i'm doing my own version of this rhythm join me as we do the play on the keyboard i have programmed the drum section which is going to accompany me or support in this rhythm all right so this is how the rhythm goes bell and bell rhythm this is how it goes Okay, I did this with a supporting drum beat, but without a drum beat, this is how it goes. Alright guys, viewers, I'm going to explain it into details. We are moving on to the breakdowns in this rhythm. I'm going to break it down. And for the breakdown, I have it, I've grouped it into two sections. We have the basic chord progression and then an eight passing duet. Alright, for the meantime, we are going to consider the basic chord progression in this rhythm. Alright, this is how it goes. This is how the basic chord progression goes. I'm doing it with a drum pattern. It goes like this. Okay, all right. So we're going to break the basic chord progression down. I'm giving you the details and what it entails. All right. The basic chord progression is in two sections. We have the right hand part and the left hand part. All right. So I'm taking you through the left hand chord progression in this basic chord rhythm. The first chord is a D minor seventh. It comprises of key D, A, and C. Hope you got it. The second chord is a C seventh triad chord and it comprises of key E, B flat, and C. The third chord in this progression is an F chord, F triad chord, which comprises of F, A, and C. The fourth chord is a C triad chord in the second invention sense. It comprises of key G, C, and E. The last chord, which is the fifth chord, is a G chord, G triad chord, and it comprises of key G, key B, and then key D. J, B, D. All right. 
that is the left hand side that's what the left hand side does let's move on to the right hand side for the right hand side the first chord is an f chord f triad chord in the first invention sense it comprises of key a key c and key f a c and f the second chord is a C chord which is in the second inversion sense a C triad chord it comprises of G C and E G C E the third chord is a D minor chord D minor chord also known as F set chord it comprises of key F key A and D key F key A and D the fourth chord you move back to C chord in the second inversion sense C chord which comprises of G C and E the last chord which is the ending chord is a G source 2 chord G source 2 chord which comprises of key G, key A, and then D. All right. So when you are doing both hands together, the left and the right hand together, this is how it goes. For the first chord, the second chord, the third chord, the fourth chord and the ending chord then you resolve back to key C okay yeah viewers we are doing this in the key of C we are doing this rhythm in the key of C thank you we will continue with the passing eight passing duet chords. The second section comprises of eight passing duets. Eight passing duets. And I'm taking you to the eight passing duet. This eight passing duet has been patternized. And this is how it goes. I was doing it whilst alongside playing. Playing. It goes like this. I have grouped this passing duet into eight and I'm taking you through all the eight then I'll teach you how it has been patternized okay the first duet this is the first duet and for this tutorial I'll term it as duet one duet one duet number one the first duet comprises of key D and B flat the second duet, which is duet two, comprises of C and A. C and A. The third duet comprises of B flat and G. B flat and G. The fourth duet comprises of A and F. A and F. The fifth duet comprises of G and E. The sixth duet comprises of key F and key D. The seventh duet comprises of key E and C. The eighth duet comprises of G D and then key B D and B all right so we have one duet two duet three duet four duet five duet six duet seven duet and eight duet all right this one to eight duets have been patternized 
and I've grouped it into two patterns. The first pattern this is how it goes. The first pattern goes like this. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again in a slower pace. One, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, six. So this is the first pattern. All right, okay. Let's move on to the second pattern. The second pattern goes like this. Okay, we are using the numbers. So for the second pattern, this is the second pattern. It's four, five, six, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, seven. I hope it went well. Okay, let's take it again. Four, five, six, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, seven. Okay, so that is it. These are the two patterns. So when you are joining these two patterns together, it goes like this. Okay, now I'm going to add the basic left hand chord progression together with the eight passing duets. All right, so this is how it is done. I'm doing it again. So I'm breaking it down in a slower pace. This is how it goes. Let's do it again. Slow, much more slower pace. In a faster pace, this is how it goes. Okay. All right. This rhythm has been very beneficial. It has been used in most of our Ghanaian gospel pieces. A song like, which is a common song, worship song done in, at the churches. Aye, 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 it falls in that rhythm. Aye, 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 it's in that rhythm. Okay, I'm going to do one exemplary song um, with the drum beat, then after us, we end this video tutorial.
okay lovely people cherished subscribers and good viewers we are ending this video tutorial thank you very much this is Mickey keys all that I will entreat and beseech of you please subscribe do subscribe for me bye bye